Republican lawmakers have voted to remove Liz Cheney from her leadership post this morning. Cheney came under fire within the Republican Party for her criticism of former President Donald Trump and his false claims of election fraud. Speaking after the vote this morning, Cheney said she will fight to make sure Donald Trump never runs again. I uh, will do uh, everything I can to ensure uh, that uh, the former president never again gets anywhere near the Oval Office. We have seen the danger uh, that he continues to provoke with his language. Uh, we have seen his lack of commitment and dedication to the Constitution. Uh, and I think it's very important that we make sure whomever we elect is somebody who will be faithful to the Constitution. I want to bring in Natalie Jennings now to discuss this. She's the deputy Washington editor at The Washington Post. Natalie, good to see you again. So if anybody thought Liz Cheney might go away quietly, forget about it, uh, she's doubling down on her message. That's right. She's losing a big leadership position in the Republican Party, but she's making it clear that this is not the last that anyone is going to hear from her on this issue. Uh, you know, she's not just saying this. She has a plan, we are reporting, to keep this issue front and center. And we saw in her last, in her parting remarks, not only did she state what she's going to do, but she took a shot at the other leaders of the party and said that if you want someone who will stand up for lies and be in your leadership, then you have other options for that, and that was a direct shot at Kevin McCarthy and Steve Scalise, the other members of leadership who remain. So who is expected to replace Liz Cheney now? The favorite right now, uh, the one who has the support of leadership, is Elise Stefanik. She is a young congresswoman from New York. She was, when she was elected, she was the youngest woman ever to be elected, and she was elected as a moderate, sort of a old school Republican. Uh, around the time that President Trump was being impeached for the first time, she fully got on board with President Trump and his policies, and has been a very vocal supporter of his. She now has the support of leadership like Kevin McCarthy. I would say not support of the entire caucus. There is some, um, you know, question about how conservative she actually is, aside from her uh, very clear support for President Trump, whether her voting record is conservative enough. But she appears to be on track to be that person, um, possibly by the end of this week. By the end of this week. So uh, with what is happening with Liz Cheney, um, it is creating some major division over the Republican Party right now, what the Republican Party wants to be moving forward. How do you see this playing out? In the Senate, we have Mitt Romney and others who are saying that Cheney's expulsion from leadership is not going to gain the party any voters. In fact, it may l lose them. Um, what now? Yeah, it's pretty clear that the vast majority of the Republican Party does not want to, um, you know, do anything to detract from President Trump. They really want to go along to get along. So I think the, the numbers favor that side of things. But this is not make it easy. There is a small uh, but probably, you know, well-positioned segment of the party that is going to take, you know, to, to be vocal about these issues. And Republicans, remember, want to get back in power in some form in the House or the Senate and the elections that are going to happen at the end of the next year, they can't afford to lose a lot of people and keep that. The, the majority of the country is not Republican, but the way that the House and the Senate are set up, they have a very good chance of being able to take power, but they can't lose a lot of people for that. And so it remains to be seen how effective Liz Cheney will be at blocking that agenda. And lastly, President Trump, uh, former President Trump, hasn't said yet if he's going to run for re-election. But here we have Liz Cheney, that she's going to do whatever she can to stop him. Do you think that the Republican Party wants Donald Trump to return? Do they want him to run again? I think uh, I looked to Lindsey Graham, the senator and ally of Trump's, who recently said sort of the, the quiet part out loud when he said there is no option for the Republican Party without Trump. They, you know, they are a minority of the country, uh, not, not a huge minority, but there's there's not enough to both separate themselves from Trump and, uh, you know, be a governing majority. I think if you asked individual members quietly, would they rather someone else be the face of the party? They might tell you yeah, you know, maybe we should have someone else at the head of it, but they do seemingly, most of them recognize that if they alienate those people who support Trump, they don't really have a path. Natalie Jennings with The Washington Post. Take care, Natalie. Good to see you.